So the only thing left to do here is to do a show command and verify and cross our fingers. Let's take a look. I was having a chat with Morgan on the Discord server a few days ago. We were talking about something really amazing, and that is the seventh bit. <laughs> the seventh bit. What is this flipping bit? Well, that's a big part of what that bit is. In, an, in a layer two address, a MAC address, the seventh bit from the left is referred to as the, the U bit, representing universally assigned or locally assigned. And if it's on that bit, that implies it's a universally assigned MAC address. If it's a set to a zero, that implies it's locally assigned. Now, why does that matter? Well, <laughs> in the world of IPv6, we are going to have a couple of options to create dynamically a layer three address with IPv6. One for the link local addresses, which begin with FE80, and other for globally routable addresses, which start with anything from 2000 to 3000. However, in creating a host address, if we're using the EUI64 format, it's gonna take the MAC address and it's going to wedge in 16 extra bits, and that's because a MAC address is 48 bits, and a host address, if we're using a slash 64, is also 64 bits, and so we need to have it longer than just 48. So for IPv6, it takes the MAC address for the interface, wedges in 16 extra bits, and then it takes the seventh bit from the left, and it flips it. Now that's the U bit. Now a lot of, I mean a lot of documentation, a lot of things I've heard about this U bit is that, you know, the U bit represents whether it's been universally assigned or locally assigned, zero for local. But here's the reality. <laughs> when you're doing EUI 64, what it's going to do, it's gonna take that seventh bit, whatever it is, and it's gonna invert it. So if it was a one, it'll be a zero. And if it was a zero, it'll be a one. And what I like to do is give you a really quick demonstration of exactly how that works. And then you'll know that the seventh bit, when you're using EUI64, always gets flipped. And to start off with the clear slate, let's go into configuration mode and let's default interface gig zero slash one. So to do that, we'll say type in default interface gig zero slash one, and boom, it's back to its default configuration. And then we'll go into interface configuration mode for gig zero slash one. And here, let's go ahead and let's configure manually a MAC address. And let's use this MAC address here. So this is 12 characters. These are hexadecimal. So each of these characters represents actually behind the scenes four bits of data. And I'm making the, the back half here all eights. So it'll be very easy to see. And I'm going to set the first two hex characters, which is the first eight bits. I'm going to set those to zero, zero. And to do that, we'll, we'll press enter and bada bing, it's done. Next, let's specify an IPv6 routable address for this interface. So I'll do IPv6 address 2001db8678.3a. So that part right there is the network. And then I'm putting a colon colon, which represents we have four more groupings of numbers, slash 64, meaning it's a 64-bit network, leaving 64 bits for host addressing. And then I'm specifying I want to use the modified EUI64 flavor for creating my actual host address, the last 64 bits. So we'll press enter to make that happen. And what that actually did is now we have two IPv6 addresses. We're gonna have a link local address, and we're also gonna have the IPv6 routable address, the one that starts with 2001. And the last half of those IPv6 addresses, the last 64 bits for each of them, is gonna be using that EUI64 format, where it takes our existing MAC address, wedges in 16 extra bits, flips the seventh bit, and bah, there's our host address for those IPv6 addresses. Now, let's do a couple show commands, and let me walk you through exactly how it did the logic. So let's do this command, do show IPv6 interface for gig zero slash one. So let's point out the two IPv6 addresses that we now have. We have this guy, this is our link local address, starting with FE80, that's great. If we want to talk to somebody on that local broadcast domain, or I should say local VLAN, because in IPv6 there are no broadcasts. Um, so we have this link local address, and then we also have our global unicast address right here. So I'll go ahead and circle that as well. And what I want to focus on is the last 64 bits of these, which is everything from this line to the right, and it's everything from this line right here over to the right. And you'll notice the host addresses for each of these are the same. And that's because you use the same logic as part of the EUI64. And here's the logic. You take the MAC address, which is right here, the 0088, et cetera. And what we're going to do is we're going to wedge in 16 more bits. So each of these hex characters represents four bits. So if you take 12 times four, that's 48 bits. And we need basically four more hex characters, which is 16 more bits. And so here's what it does. It adds F, 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 E. 
<laughs> uh, and that's represented right here. So it wedged in the middle of both of these FFFE, which is 16 bits, and it's identical right here and here. And that's part of creating this host address portion for us. But in addition to adding those 16 bits, we are going to flip that darn flipping bit. We're going to flip the seventh bit. And to do that, let's take a look at these first eight bits. So each hex character represents four bits each. So I'm going to expand that down here and I'm going to do a quick conversion. So here's our 0000, zero, zero, zero for the first zero and 0000, zero, zero, zero for the second zero. <laughs> so that's the bits. Think of it like one byte of data inside an IP address, except with IPv6, we just group them with hex characters at four bits at a time instead of eight, as we do with IPv4. So there's the eight bits, and what we're going to do is we're going to flip the seventh bit. So we just count from the left. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to flip that seventh bit. So if we flip just the seventh bit as part of EUI64, the result would be these bits would be the same. So whatever they were before, they're still going to be that. This bit's the same. This bit's the same. But this bit right here... We're going to flip it. That stinking flipping bit. We're going to flip it. So if it was a zero, now it's a one. Then we'd bring up the last bit, whatever it was. So for these four bits, here's the value positions one, two, four, and eight. Very similar to what we do with binary and working with IPv4. And all those bits are off. So the result is zero for that single character in hex. And for this one, it's going to be, this is the ones positions, two, four, eight. So where this bit is on now, that's a value of two. And that's the only value there. So it's a two. So for these, where it used to be 0, 0, the new value is going to be 0, 2. And then we would continue on. So 0, 2, and then 8, 8, and then 8, 8. And then we wedge in F, 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 E, F, 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 E. And then we have two more 8s, these two. And then we have 8, 8, 8, 8. And then you can just put the periods in to go ahead and separate those characters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, period. 1, 2, 3, 4, period. 1, 2, 3, 4, period. And then we have the rest. So that is our new EUI64 address. And if we look at the results, boom, it's right here. And you might say, well, Keith, what about uh, this right here? It says 288. It doesn't say 0288. And that's because within these groupings, you can leave off the leading zeros because they don't carry any value. So kind of a shortcut of representing it. All right. Now, I know if you're brand new to IP addressing and IPv6 and hexadecimal, that's a lot to take in. Here's the takeaway. However, is that when you're doing EUI64, we're going to take the MAC address, we're going to wedge in the middle of it, F, 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 E, and we're going to flip that flip in seventh bit every single time. Oh, you know what we should do? <laughs> Let's go ahead and modify the MAC address and then watch it change. That'd be great. Let's do that too. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and change the MAC address. So the MAC address was 0088, and now I'm going to make it 0288. And now let's do a prediction of how the layer 3 addresses are going to change based on that. So if it's 02, it'd be this in binary. That's the original. And if we flip that seventh bit and we use that for the host portion, the result would be 0000. We just bring those down. We bring these down, but we flip that seventh bit, and that would be a 0. <laughs> so the result should be... Instead of having a 2 here in that first position, it would be a 0. And as a result, that would actually be even removed because leading zeros aren't needed. So what we're expecting when we do this show IPv6 interface command again, we're expecting this to be the new host address based on us modifying the underlying MAC address. So the only thing left to do here is to do a show command and verify and cross our fingers. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm going to hit the up arrow key a couple times. Do show IPv6 interface gig 0 slash 1. And survey says... Check this out. There is our new host address right there. No two in front of that. And that's because it flipped it. So our MAC address had the seventh bit on and the EUI64 format flipped that for us. And here is the literal EUI64 address. And it is the same thing as well. So I had a bunch of fun in putting this together. I also want to thank Morgan uh, on the Discord server for bringing up this question, giving me a chance to revisit it. Fun, fun times. All right, so wherever you are in your studies, I wish you the best. Keep on going. You've got this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, be well.